Liver spots, age spots, brown spots that suddenly appear on your skin out of nowhere. Where do they come from? Why do they happen in the first place? In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to prevent having them in the first place and also how you can help to remove them naturally. So my name is Jan Benham, founder and CEO of The Aroma Shop and a warm welcome to you on this February 2023. So first of all, um, I, I just want to do a personal experience of what I've done. I have never had a brown spot on my neck or on my face. But, and I was trying to think, what have I been doing differently from everyone else? Now, for the last 30 years, I have been using something on my skin called marine algae, which is from a red and brown algae. And this particular algae is harvested in Brazil in unpolluted waters, and it is processed there with green solution, a, a green way of processing and then I've been buying it. Now the reason why I got into putting algae on my face in the first place was because of the firming properties it seemed to have. I happened to notice that whenever I felt my eyes were getting a little bit droopy, the skin or my neck, I was getting a little bit loose here, I would have made myself an ultra firming gel and the recipe is in my Baby Boomers book. And this would be the algae mixed with hyaluronic acid and some essentials and I would apply it on my skin, on my neck and around my eyes and within a couple of days my skin was nice and taut again. Now what I have noticed, as I said, I haven't got any brown spots. And I started to do some research. Why is this so? It could it be to do with the algae I have been using all the time for the past 25 years. So what does algae do? First of all, it, this is proven, algae increases the cellular turnover and cellular renovation. It has a mattifying effect upon the skin. It reduces and lightens dark spots. It improves the homogeneity of skin tone. It stimulates the microcirculation. It adds radiance to the skin. It stimulate, stimulates the synthesis of the dermal matrix. It improves the skin structure, density and firmness. Reduces the size, depth and number of wrinkles. Smooths the micro relief and improves the texture of the skin. So you can see that it acts like quite a punch to the skin in a good way. And um, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. So now how does this help with brown spots? Well, first of all, it obviously helps with reducing the brown spots, but I also feel that it stops them developing in the first place. And it does increase the turnover of the skin cells. I, I noticed that. And I also noticed that I don't produce, as soon as I started using the algae on a daily basis, I also didn't produce, I didn't produce any more blackheads. I used to get blackheads on a daily basis around my nose and I don't get, very rarely get them anymore. So it does seem to balance the sebum production in the skin. It also firms the skin, which is great. It also helps against not against sun exposure, but it does help protect the skin against radiation, cellular ra uh, radiation from the sun. Now, I'm a big sun believer. I believe very strongly that we are made to go in the sun. Now, I don't mean about going out and burning yourself and making yourself dark brown and crisping your skin. I'm talking about regular sun bathing and getting all the benefits of the sun and there's a tremendous benefit in the sun. The sun produces not just ultraviolet rays, but red, infrared as well. And I'll talk about how this will help with reducing brown spots in the skin. So first of all, 
Why do brown spots form in the first place? So I'm going to explain as, sim as simple as possible how brown spots are formed. So in our body, there is an enzyme called tyrosinase. Now this is called the browning enzyme. And when this is too much is produced of this enzyme, it causes browning spots to appear. So this tyrosinase is activated by stress, by excess estrogen, hormonal imbalance, and also by certain foods. So what we want to do is try to regulate this enzyme, reduce it, and by doing so, help to stop producing any more liver spots or age spots appearing, and also to help calm them down. So this is a way of reducing them internally, as well as we will look at the ways to reduce them externally. So my belief in skincare is not just to apply something to the skin, but also to work internally as well as externally. So how can we do this? Well, first of all, um, regulators of this enzyme is vitamin C and also melatonin. Now you get melatonin, and of course this helps with sleep, from infrared. So now they, you know, we say that too much sun can cause browning spots. Well, that's not always the case. If you have enough vitamin C in your skin, then you should be able to go in the sun without, as long as you're not burning yourself, there's a, a point of too much, but regular going out in the sun should be good for you. Now, infrared comes from invisible light, so it's not that you have to expose your skin to the sun on a daily basis, but even wearing hat, the infrared will go through any clothing into your skin and help to increase the melatonin. And it will also help you in lots of ways as well, relaxed a little bit more. You can also take infrared light baths as well. So there are ways you can help yourself. So taking vitamin C, there's also taking uh, amount, small amounts of cinnamon daily, but make sure the cinnamon is also um, from Ceylon, not from the cassia. So it's different types of cinnamon. Uh, one cinnamon is not good to take every day, but the Ceylon cinnamon is good for you. Also cocoa, cocoa beans, and there are a number of foods that will reduce this activity of this enzyme. So, I mean, what I personally do is I take lemon juice every morning. So I'm getting my vitamin C in every day. I also happen to have an infrared light at home. So I try to at least expose myself every once in a while to infrared. I love the sun as well. I have always been one for the sun. I have never put sunscreens on and yet I still don't have a brown spot on my face or on my neck. Now, there was a time when I did have a, a brown spot around here and also on my bust area. And I was able to get rid of them. First of all, I was fasting, which is another way of um, organize, uh, helping to reduce the activity of the browning enzyme. So uh, reducing stress in your body, um, cutting out things like sugars and excess carbohydrates also helps with reducing the activity of this enzyme. Um, we've noticed that people who are diabetic will also have an increase in age spots as well. So there is something linked with that as well. So reducing stress if you can, getting some infrared, making sure you have enough regular vitamin C. I'm not talking about tablets, I'm talking about vitamin C that is from food. Now, what you'll see, that a lot of items are on the market for external application. Now, um, often people say you can put the vitamin C on your face, so you can put vitamin C creams on, and that will help. But, 
you have to keep doing that. So the idea is if you can work at it internally as well as externally, you can reduce them. And mine went away completely with my nutrition, with my lifestyle, and they went away really quickly as well. It was the fasting that seemed to help, but I was working on it externally and internally. So what I was doing personally externally was I was applying castor oil to the brown spots every evening. Now castor oil is very sticky. So what I did then after a few moments after applying the castor oil, I then added some of my basic white lotion with the um, uh, basic white lotion with some essential oils of lemon and etc on and frankincense and I applied it again afterwards and then I was able to go to bed. I also uh, was kept on applying my marine algae in the form mixed with essential oils. So this is marine algae with hyaluronic acid and there is some clary sage, some cypress, frankincense and lavender in this one. So I was applying this but I wasn't just applying it now to my face and neck, I was also applying it to the areas below as well where I was getting, where I had the two brown spots appearing. So I never had a brown spot here, I never had a brown spot here, but I had it in areas that weren't even exposed to the sun. So go figure. So I personally am not into this sun theory causing it. I'm into lifestyle and bad nutrition and also hormonal. So the thing is to manage it by helping to reduce the activity of this enzyme by taking a little bit of cinnamon in your coffee perhaps every day, taking some lemon juice in the morning and also um, making sure you have enough natural sunlight or some infrared on a daily basis. And then applying the essential oils on the on the liver spots or the age spots and also as I said castor oil seems to cause uh, bring out toxins so it does draw so I'm very much a believer in using castor oil to draw out toxins out of the skin so you don't want to keep on increasing the toxic the toxins coming out you want to decrease the from what's coming from inside out and then you want to remove whatever is there and you can do that by natural exfoliation using essential oils and also as I said the marine algae also is stimulating the cellular turnover as well. So that is my take on using the algae to help me first of all not have any brown spots in the first place but also how you can use essential oils, algae and castor oil externally to help remove. But you do still have to deal with it on the inside. I will put down the information in the link below so you can always contact me if you would like any more information. So it's bye for now.